everybody, it's me, Wildman Beats here, and this is going to be episode 14 of A Plague Tale Requiem. And last episode, uh, we go through the real rat hive as Hugo has created a mess of rats. Uh, we also rescued our node and got to Sophia, and we're out onto the sea, heading back to mainland France, I would assume. So maybe things are looking up. We'll see if we can keep that going even though our mom's dead and all. But uh, anyway, thank you for coming to watch this video. I hope you enjoy, and otherwise, let's get into it. Healing our wounds. Amicia is devastated by grief after her mother's death, and Hugo is not himself anymore. Overwhelmed by the macula with Lucas' help, they cross a massive underground rat's nest. Amicia gathered all her energy to protect her brother from the vicious influence of the macula. Hugo slowly came back to life. He insisted on saving Arnaud, who was about to be hanged. They succeeded and eventually caught up with Sophia before sailing away on her ship. They are now heading to the continent to find a home where Amicia, Hugo, and Lucas will live the rest of their life. I wish them all the success, Come talk if you want. but I have all doubts. Right. Fresh air. How are you? How are you doing, Arno? Passed out. Stay there. You don't want to wake up after this. Trust me. Hey, look at that! We got fruit. We got some lemons, some apples, some. Uh, those look like onions. I don't know what these green ones are, though. What are those? I, I actually have no idea. Hey, here you go. It's nice. What's on your mind? Do you think I'm different? Well, different? I don't know. Are you hungry? Huh? <laughs> yes. Well, still the same. <laughs> I feel different. Things feel different. You're maturing. It's called growing up, Hugo. Yep. Some things just make it go faster. Yes. Yes. But we'll slow things down from now on. We'll take all the time we need. I can't wait to be in the mountain. Soon. Very soon. We're going home, Hugo. Our home. Yes. Oh, we're almost there. That's land. I didn't realize it was so close already. Let's talk to Sophia, see how she's holding up. Hey. Is that well? I woke up thinking I was dead. I know that one. What will you do now? I... My mother... She had a house. An old house in the mountains. I promised him a chance to be happy. That's where we'll get it. Sounds nice. You'll always be welcome there. I know you don't like heights. Hey, people change. Yeah, once you see rats, your other fears lessen. <laughs> like, oh yeah, I used to be afraid of heights, and then I got sworn by a billion rats, and you know, heights didn't seem so bad anymore. <laughs> uh, what's this? The rats guess. You saved our lives. The what? Huh? The ras gas? What? I, I I'm not really sure what she just said. I could sleep for weeks. I need a bath too. You would think they'd look even worse after going through all those rat nests, because I've dealt with some old like storage buildings and motorhomes and stuff that have gotten like uh basically defecated the crap out of by rats just filled with mouse poop and shit and that stuff 
it's really gross. It gets everywhere, and that can get you really sick. You gotta be careful around rat hey. remains. Oh, hey. How do you feel? You first. Just like... After a strange dream. Yeah, a terrible one. But I couldn't wake up until I dreamt it. Changed. Reborn. Almost. There's a home ahead now, Lucas. Will you come with us? Well, I think... You and Hugo are my home, so... Yes. We're glad to have you with us. I am curious where Lucas and Beatrice went after we kind of abandoned them. D is there anything we should expect when we get back? Also, oh, never mind. The land is there. I thought I was gonna say, oh, I don't see land anymore. But it's over there. Hey, what's going on? Is he fine? Who knows? How about we ask him directly? All right. Are you alive? What do you think? Dead people don't talk. <laughs> Good catch. Hey. I'm sorry for... Well... Everything. Thank you for getting your sister to help me. You saved me. Look who finally decided to be nice. Don't make me regret it. <laughs> the war's over, Arno. We've all earned a rest. You should try it, too. <laughs> hey! Shit! Oh, no. Damn, the Count! The Count. It's coming fast. You see? Yeah. That's the thing with war. <laughs> you don't get to decide when it's over. They've got more sail than we do. Oh, this can't be happening. Do we fight you? You'll be safe. Keep steering. We'll hoist it. Amicia, up here with me. And the others? They'll manage. Stay inside. What's this? More sail? No, come on, faster. That bastard couldn't let go. We have to lose them. No, they bored us. Done. Good. They're still closing the distance. No, no. What now? Turn the sail to the wind. We need a better angle. Alicia, get to the lower deck. Right away. Okay. I'll give you some slack while you pull it towards you. Yes. We have no right to bail this Argo. We won't. It's working. We're picking up speed. But it won't be enough. We're They're too coming. Heavy. Throw some cargo overboard. On it. Ha. I think we need to accept our fate. Heads down, everyone! Oh my! Oh shit! I'll handle the cargo. Go! Right! Hold on! I'm coming! I need to kill them. You really thought you could leave with my child? He's not your child, you lunatic! Don't hurt the child! Kill the rest! Oh, oh, all of you, they're going to ram us. I, I, I can't move. No, 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 Amicia, no, what just happened? Oh, no, did we get knocked overboard? Amicia, Amicia, what's going on? Oh, no, they fell overboard. Get up, Amicia. Oh, there's 
so many. I need more crossbow. Hugo's still here. Shoot! That's not a thing. Here. Sorry, child. The rats can't help you here. <coughs> Such a fragile little thing. All right. You've won. Don't hurt him. Hurt him? He's Emily's son. My son. He's a god. He's our doom, Victor. You need to let him go. To his sister. No. I owe this to Emily. With her, I tried so hard to believe this world wasn't just blood and war. You made it but blood I and war. I a blanket over these flames. But the truth is, people like us, we are born to feed that fire. Whatever you're planning with him, it won't work. He will destroy you. He'll destroy what I tell him to. We'll set this world aflame. And I'll forge an empire from that fire. A more righteous one. It's not over, you coward! You owe me blood! I paid that price already. Now my son needs to rest. Finish this! What, what was that, Aim? He way overshot. <sighs> Well, that's not great. I'd argue that's kind of not good. It's a less than ideal situation. You can never count this count to Provence guy out. And now we have to go back on the aggressive side because we have to get Hugo back. Man, it's... Aye, aye, aye. But uh, pretty short chapter there. What's with these... We get like 90 minute ones at the start of the game and now we got 14 minutes interesting but that is where we'll leave it for episode 14 of plague tale requiem so thank you for coming to watch this video thanks for subscribing and hitting that bell button as always have a great day